en un placete de la mancha of which nombre no quiero rem 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 remembrarme, vivía, not so long ago, uno de esos gentlemen who always tienen una lanza in the rack. You are the Spanglish girl. I am the Spanglish girl. You knew that, Esteban. Una buckler antigua, una skinny caballo y un greyhound para el chase. <laughs> Media Just a Tea Esteban Galán This is Transmedia, and we have uh, an special guest, uh, Lindsay Carey. Hello. Hello, Esteban. Where Where are we right now? We're in Alicante, and it's very hot. Uh, this is Shamar, and and we have finished uh, a conference. Could you explain about that? Yes. Yeah, so we've been at the summer school um, at Alicante University, where we've brought over some uh, research students and professors to have a nice um, time and also to do some work. Some work? Like uh, yesterday you you have a, a conference, a lecture about? I had a lecture about impact and research um, mm. and I did it in Spanish. In Spanish? Yes. And how the experience, what about? It was fantastic. Your first time was in Transmedia, of course. Of Remember? No. Yes. Have you interviewed me before? In Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> But listen, don't interview me when no, no, why not? I'm not very interested. I have a program to, to do, you know. <laughs> no, we have something <coughs> much more interesting. Ah, something much <coughs> more interesting. <coughs> Call him. <laughs> Who is this guy? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Chris Dolan. Chris Dolan. Who is also from Glasgow Caledon University, who I've met, we haven't met that long ago, but we, we've become good friends yeah. quite quickly. We have a lot of things in common, a lot of interests interest in common. common. That's right. And he speaks much better Spanish than me, unfortunately. And English as well. Uh, probably English as well. <laughs> I think you're going to find both of those are untrue, but <laughs> never mind. And he also happens to be the programme leader for the... Now, what what is the course actually? It's a master's in... It's called MATV. Uh, so it's master's in, in fiction writing or in drama writing for television so it's television drama mm -hmm. and I think probably it would be better if you really interviewed him as opposed to I me. think so too <laughs> so let's go let's go Transmedia Just a Tea Hello, this is Transmedia. We are with Chris Dolan and with Lindsay Carey. You are n not in the mood to be interviewed? Not in you... the mood, but I will be saying things because ah. obviously I can't keep my mouth shut. Do you want well. to keep here or...? <laughs> yeah? I'll You're stay, I'll to... stay. Okay, thank you. So, Chris Dolan, a writer, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Lovely to be here, Stephen. You are performing a blog. Uh, it's called adelante.travel.org. Blog. It's well, okay. it's actually the real title. That, that's the one that WordPress gives you. But the real title is Adelante, Onwards Through Spain, Song and Memory. This is a blog, but it's supposed to become a podcast as well, a book, a thesis. If you're going to do something, you might as well squeeze <laughs> as much out of it as you possibly can. So, yeah, it's, it started. It started actually as the thesis. It started as an idea for um, for for a doctorate because uh, I work at university, but I don't have a doctorate yet, and I've been looking for something that interested me. I didn't want to just do something for the sake of it. I wanted to do something new. And uh, I had this idea anyway of, of, of doing a trip across Spain um, and, and recording the, the idea of, of memory and how memory and narrative work. And out of that came, somebody suggested a blog, so we're doing a blog now. And then I talked to Janice Forsyth, who's a very famous broadcaster in Scotland, and we're doing a series of podcasts. And a publisher wanted a book out of it, so um, so yeah, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of different stuff on this. You are becoming your life, your adventure in a transmedia project, you know. And the absolute apogee of all of this is being in transmedia. <laughs> so uh, tell me, because this is an idea that is not new one, because this is uh, in your life, maybe ten years ago. 
much more. Much more. 20 much years ago. More, much more. more 25 or Can't 30. Possibly. Can't possibly be. More. Last century? <laughs> it's amazing. The last, very last century. <laughs> very so last century. Last so century. tell me, tell me, what did, uh, tell me a story. Okay. When I was 16, uh, and that is a couple of years ago now. <laughs> well, actually, the number is important. I'll come back to that number in a second. Uh, when I was 16, um, I mm. went with a friend of mine mm. to, we just wanted to get out and, and leave Scotland and get away. Um, and it so happened my friend had a brother who lived in Galicia in the north of Spain. And it so happened at that time that I had read a book, a very famous book of travel journey through Spain in 1935 by Laurie Lee, uh, as I walked out one midsummer morning. And it so happened I play violin as well. So when I was 16, I took my violin, as Laurie Lee did, and I intended to do the, exactly the same route, which basically was from uh, Vigo to Malaga to Almunyecar. Um, but I never managed it. I was too young, and uh, the first bar and the first girl, and I, I never how, how long did you last? About almost three months, and the first month that's, doesn't that's really count. That's it's so two long. months of actually busking. Oh, that's I a think. long time at well, 16. Actually, honestly, you know, at the time I was very, I was kind of very ashamed of the fact that I didn't manage it. But I actually looking back now, and the reason why I'm doing it again now is because I'm now 61. So that inversion of 60 you don't, to 61. You don't look it. Radio is a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay can get away with that on radio. Um, so, so, that, so I decided to do it again, 1661, try again in a completely different way. I'm not really interested in slavishly following Laurie Lee's journey. I'm, I've done most of it by, by bike. So I've crossed Spain from with two friends, uh, with, from Vigo to Valencia, and I've walked part of the bit from Malaga to Almunyecar. And it's about my experience of Spain and about comparing that to other ones. Uh, we talked before, Esteban, uh, particularly uh, uh, Jose Camilo Tela uh, yeah. and his uh, travel books of Spain. Um, Laurie Lee, of course, Gerald mm. Brennan, all these great writers on Spain. Hans Christian Anders. Hans Christian Anders, which mm. you introduced me to. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, so that that's the project is about kind of narratives and stories and how we kind of, you know, how we... How we, we how we make ourselves up. Mm -hmm. And in my case, that's very much to do with Spain. I've mm -hmm. made myself up in a kind of a Spanish way. Are you in the mood for playing? Y yeah. We're going to try. I'm going to put a song and I challenge you to identify. This is Juan Manuel Serrat singing uh, Cantares which is uh, his reworking, actually I love the reworking because he talks about Machado actually in his song but he reworks the Machado poem Cantares from uh, mm -hmm. from Campos de Castilla Castilla, uh, could you describe uh, Castilla uh, to the Scottish people uh, people that don't know you know for me, it's interesting. My, my Spanish journey happened to be around the edges just by chance. You know, I went to Galicia at first. Ah. Sorry, Stephen has just showed me a photograph. This is, you know, that this is five kilometers from uh, my, the place that I spend my summers. Well, it, it does the view that I have from the window uh, in my childhood. And you say that it, this is like a painting and it was like, uh, it was uh, almost crying when I, when I saw that well, photo. Beautiful. Well, your actual, your actual terminology there, when the three of us uh, cycled that road and, uh, and that was the greatest road of the entire cycle. We honestly, being three Scottish men, West of Scotland men, we had to separate ourselves. Because honestly, we were all moved to tears by the beauty of that road. It was one and of nobody the most there, beautiful, no, nobody. nothing, just nothing. beautiful sound. Mm. And what it reminded me of was, and I wrote this later on in my notes, looking across this rolling, beautiful landscape. Mm. It reminded me of a kind of a, an unmade bed where earlier there had been rather hot, love me. Mm. <laughs> This but now it was this kind of lovely, humid, beautiful quietness as people could have. I just thought it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And he's connected as well with Machado, with Antonio Machado. Absolutely, Campos de Castillo. So he writes endlessly. And that thing that poets do in trying to come to grips with something that they love and don't understand. So Campos de Castillo, but lots of his poetry, is trying to understand the relationship, both the countryside itself and, and to, to explain it, but also his relationship with it. Um, 
and they're just endlessly beautiful poems. Another that, song. But please, please no, say. is that what you're going to do in your book? Is that what you're... Yeah, my, my idea of the book is essentially kind of a travelogue in that it will go through from Slad and the Cotswolds where Lord Elise set out to Almond Yaker, and most of it is about the bike ride. Right. Um, but yeah, it's trying to explain to myself mm-hmm. what is this addiction that I have with Spain and how Spain is so intimately connected in my head with Scotland. So quite often I'm talking about Spain, I'm also talking about Scotland. And quite often I'm talking about Scotland, I'm talking about Spain. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, and I'm looking at those great writers like Thela and Machado. That you really shouldn't because you think, why bother? Yeah, these <laughs> wonderful writers. Uh, but, yeah, that's kind of the idea. Another song? Please. Same song. Same song, same singer. Not same singer. <laughs> this singer is my friend uh, Liam Kane, who is one of the the uh, three people who cycled across this Spain. Uh, myself and Eddie and Liam. Uh, Liam is, uh, is 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 an academic as well. Um, is, a, is a doctor, is an expert in Paolo Freire and in, and in popular education. As uh, an expert in, in language, uh, he's playing ukulele there mm-hmm. uh, because I gave him a ukulele for his birthday about two years ago, and he's really taken to it. So yeah, so we performed a, a version of that song ourselves, uh, and I wrote some Scottish uh, mm-hmm. or some not really Scottish, but some English. Um, translations of Serrat's version of Antonio. So I love this idea of a, there's Machado, then there's Serrat, then there's me, then there's Liam singing it, and everything is La Mancha and the Kixot. Mm. I'm, I'm obsessed. Who was the Kixot? Who is? There's this lovely thing. I, I, I will, I will one day do it. But I've got a wonderful uh, brochure at home, uh, which is do the Don Quixote tour of La Mancha. See the actual windmills that he fought. <laughs> I love this. So, A, there couldn't possibly be any windmills left from 500 years ago. Mm-hmm. Secondly, well, he didn't fight windmills. He fought giants. Mm-hmm. And anyway, Quixote didn't exist. He's the mad illusion of Alonso Quixano, uh, who is a complete fiction made up, actually, by, I always forget his name, uh, the the. Cervantes says he's mm-hmm. found the text mm-hmm. and it's by a, an Arabic writer mm-hmm. uh, and basically he's, mm-hmm. he's got this new text. Could you, are you in the mind for reading uh, a, a little of, sure. of the kick shot? See, oh, a slightly different. Uh, in <laughs> Spanglish. This is in Spanglish. <laughs> Spanglish. This has a Spanglish version of kick shot. Okay. You know? En un placete de la mancha of which nombre no quiero remembrarme. Rem, rem, <laughs> it's not only difficult for me, it's difficult <laughs> it's for, for you. Me. Yeah. This actually sounds like my Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not try, true. Try, Your Spanish try. is very good. Try, try. En un placete de la mancha of which nombre no quiero remembrarme <laughs> vivía not so long ago uno de esos gentlemen who always tienen una lanza in the rack. You are the Spanglish girl. I am the Spanglish girl. You knew that, Esteban. Una buckler antigua, una skinny caballo, y un greyhound para el chase. Brilliant. Thank you. You know what? I think that's one of the cleverest first sentences of any book ever, because now every single, so the, the real first sentence is, there's a town in La Mancha whose name I don't I, wish to remember. So mm. every single town in La Mancha can say, that's Don Quix, I was from here. <laughs> it's a gift to tourism. <laughs> Machado, uh, Cervantes, and Lorca, finally, because you have finished your, your trip in Andalusia. Yeah. And you try to translate Lorca as well to the English. Is it possible? No. <laughs> <laughs> but also the idea, nothing is translatable. You know, in a sense, <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah. Totally, because I'm half French and I agree that you cannot, the essence, you cannot. No. So I can read Dostoevsky or Chekhov, yeah. but I can't. I can read the English. I can read yeah. somebody's version of Chekhov mm-hmm. and Dostoevsky, yeah. mm-hmm. but I can't read them for myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's the same about and and and, and yes, Lorca is particularly difficult. Yeah. You know, Verde que te quiero, Verde sounds so wonderful and brilliant in Spanish. Mm-hmm. Green, I love you. Green sounds <laughs> dreadful. <laughs> uh, so you know, what do you do? You know. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, no, I, but I did have a I did have a bash at a Scottish version. Could you give a present uh, a book? The book, which uh, which is not a Spanish book, the book which 
I automatically think of when I think when I first came here. I think it might just have been published. Um, uh, was uh, El Amor en el Tiempo de Cholera. Uh-huh. Uh, Love the Time of Cholera Gabriel by Garcia Marquez. Gabriel Garcia Marquez. And uh-huh. I just automatically connect with that. But the other one would be actually Romati Sonambulo. It would actually be Cantiones de Poemas or, uh, uh, no, Gypsy Ballads, sorry. Gypsy uh-huh. Ballads by Lorca, uh, who I also discovered about that time. Uh, honestly, in a Spanish context, I would pick Lorca. And a film? Para mí, Almanova. Almodovar seemed to me to coincide more or less. He was just after the first mm-hmm. films began to appear in the 80s. He had mm-hmm. made smaller uh, ones before that people didn't see. But that all, so I arrived just as the old regime was going. So during the years of transition, I was here just before Franco died and during the years of transition. And for me, Almodovar, and if I had to choose one, it would be Women on the Verge Which of the Everest. Right. So that's my favourite film oh. as well. Is it? Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's so Incredible. Taxis in Madrid. I can never, Incredible. every time I get into one, I think about that film. <laughs> and for me, it summed up my time in the early days of Spain. Yeah. So exciting to be in Spain at that point with all these artists doing extraordinary things. Yeah. We call it this period the uh, Movida Madrileña. Yeah. Movida. Yeah. It was especially in, in Madrid. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, people that have been important for you, do you want to remember, to recognize somebody that... The inspired? one who, for me today, is extraordinarily special, Lindsay and uh, Stephen. Um, Thank you. I, I am here in the University of Alicante. The reason why I first came to Spain was because this friend of mine, and we wanted to get out of Scotland, had a brother who lived in at that point in uh, Galicia. He later on became the vice rector of this university, the University of Alicante. Um, he translated Seamus Heaney, one of my favorite poems, from here. Brian sadly died, um, very unexpectedly and very young. So for me to come back and talk about my 45-year relationship with Spain, it all began with Professor Brian Hughes. Uh, and honestly, it almost moved me to, to tears to be here in Brian's university. I'm so proud and so pleased to be here. He was an extraordinary man and he's one of the reasons why I love Spain. Right there, Chris Dolan, you have been uh, for weeks cycling all around Spain, um, looking for experiences. What is the essence, the ethos of, of the Spanish character? Being very, very noisy. <laughs> <laughs> And very late at night, which is why I love it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I do think it's really interesting. So the contrasts are there for all to see. You know, the, we, we came down from the hills and the cold of Galicia into the beautiful rolling countryside of Leon, into again the Guadarrama and the, the enormity of all that, into La Mancha and the beauty of that, into the south of Lorca. But it strikes me that Spain is Spain. And it's got something to do, I think, with generations mingle more. You can go to a party in the beach and it could be pop music or flamenco and all generations are there. I love that. And I love just a, a kind of a joie de vivre. What do you think, Lindsay? Yeah, no, I totally, and I think um, the men are very attractive as well. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is here, I can't see. <laughs> so, uh, right there, um, Chris Dolan, thank you for being here. Senior lecturer, um, your name, please. Uh, have you forgotten already? I have forgotten. <laughs> Lindsay Carey, thank you for being here. It has been a great pleasure. Thank you so much, Stephen. Love thank to be you. here. Thanks, Lindsay. Todo pasa y todo queda Pero lo nuestro es pasar Pasar haciendo camino Camino sobre la mar Everything passes, nothing dies. For us, the things to keep on going. We find the route by our own device, weaving our way our land and ocean. Nunca persegui la gloria, ni dejar en la memoria de los hombres mi canción. Yo amo los mundos sutiles, ingravidos y gentiles, como pompas de jabón. Me gusta verlos pintarse, 
de sol y grana y volar bajo el cielo azul temblar súbitamente y quebrarse nunca perseguí la gloria caminante son tus huellas el camino y nada más caminante no hay camino se hace camino al andar al andar se hace camino y al volver la vista atrás se ve la senda que nunca se ha de volver a pisar. Caminante, no hay camino, sino estelas en la mar. Which way, pal? Wherever your footprints lead. Friend, your footsteps are the road. The only road there is. We find our way by walking it. The way you go is the way ahead. And behind you? The road you'll never walk again. Which way, you say? Nothing but the wake of the water behind you. Hace algún tiempo en ese lugar Donde hoy los bosques se pisten de espinos Se oyó la voz de un poeta gritar Caminante no hay camino Se hace camino el andar se hace camino al andar Golpe a golpe, verso a verso Golpe a golpe, verso a verso Se fue el poeta lejos del hogar Le cubre el polvo de un país vecino Al alejarse le oyeron gritar Caminante no hay camino se hace camino al andar, se hace camino al andar. Heel for heel, toe for toe, we make our way by how we go. Step by step, word for word, one by one, we make our way. Golpe a golpe, verso a verso, golpe a golpe, verso a verso, golpe a golpe, verso a verso. En un placete de la mancha of which nombre no quiero rem rem remembrarme, vivía, not so long ago, uno de esos gentlemen who always tienen una lanza in the rack. You are the Spanglish girl. I am the Spanglish girl. You knew that, Esteban. Una buckler antigua, una skinny caballo y un greyhound para el chase. Transmedia, just a tea.